Greetings from the heart of Reykjavik, Iceland. I'm 2,380 kilometers away from Berlin, and I'm here to tell you about a new conference that we're working on called Material. My name is Brian. And I'm Yoshi. Together we are planning a small conference in Reykjavik, Iceland on July 22nd, but we need your help. Over the last few years, we've both been attending and organizing various types of web conferences. Now we want to start something new, something different. The theme of this conference is material. Before my training as interior designer in the 90s, I spent some time working with different materials like wood, glass, metal, fabrics and so on. I learned how to use the appropriate tools and how to do things by hand like forging, welding, sculpting and such. I always thought and still think that this was a very essential experience for me. Roughly at the same time I started working on the web and for a moment it felt similar to explore that new material. Over time though, it has struck me that there is something missing, something different, something lost when you can simply search for an answer and copy and paste it without fully understanding what it does. This is the theme of the material conference. What if the web and the internet were a physical medium? We've got decades and millennia of experience with paper, and clay, and wood, and plastics and metal. We understand these things. We know what their affordances are. We know what we can do with them. But now we need to ask this question about the web. What happens if we fold the web in half? Can you even cut the web? Our plan is to gather six or seven speakers from various disciplines, using their experiences of working with their hands, working with their craft. We can try and figure out what the web is and what it isn't. We can help better then define sort of what is the web as a material. Since this is a new conference, we picked Iceland as the backdrop. It's a big risk that we can't sell enough tickets, so we're turning to Kickstarter for help. We want to pre-sell enough tickets to cover the basic costs of the speakers, the venue, and other needed expenses. If we can do that, we're confident we can put together a great show and open our homes to you. But we need your support. The conference is a one-day Friday conference with an optional one-day Thursday field trip to various workshops in and around town. There will be six or seven speakers from all over discussing material in their own exciting way. So far we have lined up Petro Salema, Matt Jones and Dan Rubin and there will be Icelandic speakers as well. We are really excited about how the day will play out. It's our job to get lots of smart and interesting people together and give them all the tools they need to learn, discuss and create something new. The venue we've chosen only seats around 160 people in the main room, but we'll also have another spillover video screen room, which will be more relaxed with a bar and tables to work while you listen. The venue was built in 1896 as a theater and multi-purpose entertainment building, but quickly became known for theater and it's stuck ever since. Located right in the center of Reykjavik, next to the pond, the views are incredible, and if the weather holds during the summer, with nearly 24 hours of sunlight, it should make for an amazing experience. To help us, we've set up several reward categories. At $10, you'll get our material, digital and analog newsletter. We're working on a print newspaper, which contains information about the speakers, Reykjavik, articles about material, Iceland and more. We'll print it before the conference and post it to you in advance. For $25, you can be a media supporter. We plan on videoing all the presentations and putting them online, as well as transcribing the videos and releasing the audio as a podcast. If you pledge $25, you'll get early access to the videos several months before they are public. We also plan to make a simple simulcast. We'll send you the link on the day of the event if you wish to follow along plus the digital and analog newspaper. For $150, you'll get a ticket for the event. They are limited to only about 145, so once they're gone, they're gone. Plus, with your pledge, you'll get the digital and analog newspaper, which will send to you with lots of great tips, maps, and interesting facts about Iceland. If you're feeling very generous, we're reserving 25 tickets at $200. This gets you a ticket to the event, but the additional $50 goes into a scholarship fund. This will allow us to give away tickets to students and freelancers who wouldn't otherwise be able to afford it. Plus, you'll get the digital and analog newspaper for your reading enjoyment. 
At the $350 level, we'll give you a ticket to the Friday event, but also a spot on the Thursday field trip. Now it's too early to commit to the exact schedule, but we want to take you around town to the local letterpress, maybe ceramic shop, the chocolate factory, some aluminum casting, and more. Based on the budget, availability, and timing, we'll cram as much as we can into this trip. At the $500 level, you're welcome to join us at the speaker's dinner. At $1,500, you can be a sponsor. You will get space in our newsletter, which will be sent home to all of our backers, as well as five tickets for your team to attend. We chose Iceland as a venue for this conference because it's so very different than anywhere else. I've been living here for 10 years now, and you really notice the differences. The landscape, the weather, the attitude, history, culture, and more. It's all something we really want to show you. And I spent many months riding around Iceland on a bike and staying at various places about 20 years ago. When Brian asked me if I'd be up for putting together an event with him in Reykjavik, it was just a no-brainer to say yes. If this is interesting to you, please pledge in any way you can. It is our job to help you find a way to get here, a place to stay, some interesting food to eat and put on a great show. But we can only do that with your help. If you believe that something different should exist as a web conference, then please back us with any amount of money you can. Every little bit helps. We really hope to see you in Reykjavik in July. Thanks.